inevitable. Is this? Oh. You guys might remember this one, this Sand Guard black super that we did not too long ago. It's back today. We're gonna be actually installing an arrow kit that he bought. Oh yeah, I should be able to. Same. If you want to stick it and then uh, hold it, if you can press it. Carbon fiber Boston watch. To match his new Boston wheels that are coming. That's how you flex. Is that how you turn? What the fuck? thing! Just got done with the arrow kit on the Supra. All of the pieces are gloss black plastic. So here's the front lip. It's nice and clean. Pretty subtle front lip. And here is the side skirt. So as you guys can see, it extends past the rear diffuser a little bit. And again, since this car is mainly sand blacked out, gloss black adds a little touch of an accent color to it. And since the Supra's here, we decided to extract coat the entire car. So let's do a quick water beam test. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Looking good, looking good. Perfect, so it looks good. The car is going to stay cleaner a lot longer and it's going to be easy to wash now. If you had 104000 would you buy this car or RX-7? I would not spend 100 grand on an RX-7. Yeah. What if it was the best one? Zero miles, brand new. Oh, zero miles, brand new. Like Mazda Akashima came and said, I will build you one more RX-7 before I die. I don't, but he wants the sound though. And as summer approaches, we're getting more and more Teslas coming in and get windows tinted. This Model 3 will tint all the sides and the back. Dustin, how's it feel knowing that as summer approaches, you'll be doing many more of these? You'll never have another Tiger King. Dustin, I don't care about it like you do. First of all, we will have another one because it. your family is so large and vast. There's another one of you nutsos out there. You have a large family? So we kept it pretty simple with this one. Sarah looks 33 on the sides and the back. This is the darkest you can go legally in Texas. Gives you a nice bit of privacy without being too dark and of course the heat rejection is no joke so this is looking through the side window and this is looking through the back window so the whole back window is done not just the bottom portion so it gives you an idea what it looks like what are we looking at headlights inlays client bought us this kit that allows you to cover the daytime running light on the tesla model y black piece that goes underneath this here to make sure the light doesn't come through and then this is vinyl that goes on top it's not an exact match compared to the color of the paint of the car but it's pretty close this is more satin this is gloss obviously but from far away you can't tell so that's what it looks like installed and this is what it looks like outside so it gives you guys an idea oh 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 dude this is cool we definitely have never got one of these in at least not one like this fiat abarth wrapped in sand black we are taking this whole thing five percent as you can see it's already tinted but it's not dark enough guys we're gonna go darker we're gonna go five percent on all the sides in the back Dustin, have you or a loved one been affected by mesothelioma? Yeah. I didn't know it was real. By mesothelioma? <laughs> This is a cool little car. Size in the back are all 5%. This is true privacy here, guys. Can't see in at all. Even the roof here is 5%. And here's a look from it from the inside. So you can still see out during the day. And that's the back window right there. And this is what it looks like through the roof. So you still get some light in, but definitely really dark. Another black Model 3 in. We had this in not too long ago. We did a chrome delete. We did some cool little things. It's back in today because we are doing some. No tech springs on this Model 3. So let's get started. Right. Other two lowering springs I've done recently. I was What's wearing the blue shirt. <laughs> Give me two minutes. I'm gonna pee. What the? Are you in a simulation? Can you go give me a spring, Caitlin? Or did you not open it? I haven't opened it yet. Oh, open it! Open it! Who that? Who that? Oh, it's somebody wearing combat boots. How edgy. It's not combat boots. <laughs> Yank. 
Let me make sure the nipple goes through. Nipple through. Another lower Model 3 in the books. I believe this is our second Model 3 with the Novatec Lauren Springs. Might be the third. I'm losing track because we do so many. It really reduces that wheel gap that you have from factory. So it looks a lot sportier and of course handling is improved. Now on this Model 3, it does have spacers in the front and the rear. That's why the wheels don't sit in that much. Matter of fact, they're still pretty flush or close to being flush. So if you don't have spacers and you decide to get this lowered, it's going to look really funky. So make sure you get new wheels or at least spacers. Just so happened to have a stock Model 3 here that's not lowered. You can just see a huge difference in the wheel gap between the red one. Dramatic difference. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to work in your car, so hit us up. Our content info is in the description down below. There, click somewhere here, probably. If you want to see a video recommended just for you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Welcome back. Texting your pin pal. My cousin coming around to trying to do a podcast. But we're going to do something raw tonight. Hmm? <laughs> it sounds so bad. That is bad. That is bad. <laughs>